Welcome back. Returning tonight with a KION special report, the effort to recall Governor Gavin Newsom. Both political parties have big decisions to make here, and soon do Republicans have too many prominent candidates in this race, and should the Democrats run a candidate of their own? KION anchor Aaron Groff has tonight's special report. The recall attempt to oust California Governor Gavin Newsom appears headed to a ballot this fall. Question one will have to do with recalling the governor. Question two, who replaces him? Right now, there are more than 30 declared candidates, but not a single prominent Democrat, meaning if more than 50% of the voters want Newsom gone, it's likely the next governor is going to be a Republican when the party only makes up 24% of registered voters. No, I don't think, I don't think it makes any sense to, for a Democrat to enter the race. Um, I think we're pretty unified behind the governor that the voters of California chose by a wide margin. Senator Ana Caballero's argument, the recall is a partisan effort surrounding pandemic response and is a waste of state money. And then they'd have to convince the voters that they should be governor for four more years, one year, one year later, which is, when you think about it, just silly. You don't manage that way. You don't operate the fifth largest economy in the world that way. And then there's Senator John Laird. He was a first term assembly member back in 2003 when Governor Gray Davis was removed from office. Some of my colleagues in the Senate have pointed out that each time I come to Sacramento to the legislature, a recall happens and would I stop coming to Sacramento? The voters removed Davis and elected a Republican, Hollywood actor Arnold Schwarzenegger. And the Democrats had a big name on the ballot, Lieutenant Governor Cruz Bustamante. Still, a recent UC Berkeley poll shows that nearly half of all Democratic voters want a prominent candidate on the recall ballot, with another 23 percent unsure. Laird says the left should have stayed out the first time. And polls showed that that might have been the one thing that saved Gray Davis. A majority of Democrats in polling say, please run a candidate just to make sure that we don't lose the seat. While there is the same pervasive view that this will be viewed as a totally partisan race, if no major Democrats get in to run in the recall. Team Newsom has been adamant about Democrats not joining, and four prominent Republicans are in the race and campaigning hard. Newsom's 2018 foe John Cox, former San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner, Caitlyn Jenner from the recall favorite Celebrity Wing, and former Congressman Doug Osi. That begs the question, should the GOP coalesce around one candidate to avoid splitting their support? What's the role of the political party? You know, the state of California has a Republican Party that could endorse and get behind someone, and I am I'm in listening mode and pushing friends to figure that out. Jeff Gorman is the former chair of the Monterey County Republican Party and ran for Congress in 2020. I think America kind of went to sleep and we're waking up, waking up politically. While Gorman acknowledges Denner brings more attention to the race, he calls Faulkner and Cox the more serious candidates. I think staying power and commitment, that, that helps John Cox considerably. Um, John Cox also got the endorsement of establishment Republicans nationwide, uh, Mitt Romney and Condoleezza Rice in 2018. And uh, for what it's worth, he got Trump's endorsement. Is there a lesson to be learned from 2003? Political historian Dr. David Anderson says Newsom and Davis' situations are not comparable, with Davis's approval rock bottom and Newsom above 50. Public opinion polls were against him. Um, and he had a, and he actually had uh, Lieutenant Governor Bustamante who actually campaigned saying, don't choose him, choose me. Again, that was Aaron Groff reporting. Things appear strong for Newsom, however, at the moment. A poll published just this week by the Public Policy Institute of California shows only 40% of likely voters would remove him from office, with 56% saying no. Just 3% are undecided.